Here's all the receipts that I saved. Hello, good people of the internet. Today I'm going to be talking all about how much my camper renovation actually cost. When I was thinking about doing a camper renovation myself and was watching a ton of videos on YouTube about other people's renovations, what I wanted to know so bad was how much did everybody spend on all these campers and how much did everything cost and I felt like people weren't really just outright saying it usually they would kind of beat around the bush and say like oh we increased the value maybe I'm tacky or something but I'm just gonna go ahead and spill the beans first I'm going to talk about buying the camper how much I spent on the camper itself and negotiating the campers price then I'll go through all of the supplies that I used and how much each of them cost in each category. Then I'll give you a full rundown of all that and a total for the project itself. And at the end I'm going to talk all about how much time everything took me because I am a mom of a toddler and I also work part-time so I um, am pretty busy and so I pretty much just had a couple hours while my toddler was napping and a couple hours after he went to bed. I wanted something that would definitely be dated but not so old that it was rotting. Um, so I wanted something that probably still had decent bones and just uh, cosmetically was lacking. So the camper that I found was just perfect in my humble opinion. It is a 2001 Thor California Tahoe light travel trailer. It's 22 feet long. It's 3,000 pounds when the water tanks and such are not full. The camper was listed for $4,750. And when I went to check it out, I found out there, there were a few things that um, were broken or missing from it. So basically to figure out the price that I was going to offer for the camper, uh, by the way, just a disclaimer, I have no idea if this is the normal way to do this. This is just how my mind works. I uh, looked up the NADA, NADA value of the camper in um, either good or fair condition, whatever it was. So I took that price and then I made a list of the things that were broken or missing and instead of saying like oh it costs two hundred dollars to replace a tub therefore I'm gonna pay you two hundred dollars less I'm like well a new tub is worth more than a 20 year old tub so I took the price of replacing that item and cut it in half and then deducted that amount and I came up with four thousand five hundred and thirty five dollars and I offered that to the sellers and I explained my logic and they said you know what that makes sense to us let's do it. A couple of the features that I thought made it a good deal um, number one the most important thing was that it was a private party purchase I purchased it from a person instead of a dealership I noticed that the dealership uh, the dealerships were very expensive compared to buying from a person on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Um, and the number two thing that I thought made it a good deal is that they had recently replaced all four tires. And for a 20 year old camper, you definitely want either recently replaced tires or you want to factor the fact that you're going to have to replace those tires soon uh, into your purchase price. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I did purchase the camper thinking that it was dry, no leaks, which I'm sure the sellers thought was the case, but as my dad puts it, all campers leak. Um, I don't think mine leaks anymore because I've done so much work fixing all the leaks that I could find and looking for them and, and all that, but the fact that there weren't any that they know about or knew about was um, a selling point at the time too. I knew I was going to have to transfer the title over just like you do with a car, but I, for some reason I was thinking it was going to be like a hundred bucks or so, but uh, tax and title for the camper was $406, so that means I took the camper home for $4,941 before doing any renovations. So I went through all of the receipts from the entire project and I categorized them. You know, were they miscellaneous little things? Was it a replacement part? Was it paint? The highest cost was actually paint. I thought, oh, you know, a can of paint, 25 bucks, whatever. 
but um, <laughs> the majority of this renovation was painting, well not the majority, painting was a big part of this renovation. Changing everything from dull dark brown and brightening it up into pretty white and making it a little bit more fresh and modern. So everything had to be painted and it needed a lot of coats. The second highest expense was $273 for cords, converters, adapters, and a tire cover. So these, you could consider these not part of the renovation if you wanted to, because these are things that if I were to sell the camper, I would keep these. The third largest expense was replacing the bathtub and the tub faucet. I spent $106 on storage and organization, which I think is very important in a camper to have good <laughs> functional storage. I spent $88 on the peel and stick flooring and the floor trim and that was a lot less expensive than I thought it would be. 88 bucks to get all new flooring. I mean it makes a huge impact. I spent $84 on decor and you could consider this also to be not really part of the renovation because decor is something that I would remove if I were to sell the camper. Most of these items were thrifted. I spent $70 on trim wood. I spent $61 on the large pieces of edge glued pine that I used to make the dining table, the kitchen counter, and the bathroom counter. The bathroom sink was $60 from Ikea. The new kitchen faucet was $59. I spent $53 on bedding. And Part of the reason that that isn't super low is because I'm planning to rent it out and I wanted some decent bedding for people to sleep on. I spent $50 on wallpaper. I spent $47 on new curtain rods for the entire camper. The replacement hardware was $36 and that includes uh, new cabinet hardware and a new grab bar for next to the front door. That would have been a bit higher, but I was able to paint some of the existing hardware black. The bathroom faucet was $30. The backsplash was really inexpensive. It was $26. It looks really good on camera, and in person it looks fine unless you look really closely, and I honestly think that a wallpaper that looks like tile would be more practical in a camper. And lastly, I have $188 in miscellaneous. And I know that sounds like a lot of money to spend on something that I actually can't even describe, but I do know that I wrote down miscellaneous as the category whenever it was a group of items that were all very small that didn't cleanly fit into one category. So now I'm going to put up a little summary of all the different ways that you could calculate what it costs to renovate the camper. Whether you include the, just the renovation, whether you include the things that I would take out of the camper if I sold it, whether you include the taxes and title, or whether you just want to know how much I spent on getting a camper that looks like this that's ready to go, including the cost of the camper itself. I just wanted to talk about how much time it took me because time is money and I put a lot of you know sweat equity into renovating this camper um, I started in July early July and every day minus like maybe two or three days at my toddler's nap time and after he went to bed I worked on the camper for between one and three hours. So that's like uh, probably an average of three hours a day for four months. Now I have to do the math on that. Let's just say it's like 400 hours of work, rounding roughly. So 400 hours <laughs> of, of work. Is that right? That's crazy. I basically put as much time into this as a part-time job. 
So if you were working on it 40 hours a week, you could get it done in 10 weeks, which is pretty cool. It was a really fun project. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. If you want to see a, a video where I just walk through the whole camper and show it to you, I did one of those. So um, I'll link those. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Let me know if you have any questions about costs or time, time and money stuff that I didn't talk about uh, down in the comments. See you later. Bye.